And moving on, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has called on African leaders in Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo to prioritize peaceful resolution of conflicts as a means to entice warring factions to end violence. Gashago spoke to an audience at the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Society's 10th Pan-African Conference Gala Dinner in Nairobi, where he urged for an urgent need to also address both natural and man-made disasters that have plagued Africa. Mesh Musimbi reports. As we celebrate over 150 years of experience of the Red Cross, Deputy President Igadi Gashagwa has clarified his recent sentiments in Colombia that there are tigers in Kenya. And as I was talking about the animals in this country, I talked about all the animals. But you know, when you go to Europe, you don't become an European. When you go to America, you don't become an American. Some of us, when we are speaking, we think in our mother tongue, then we translate. <laughs> speaking during a Red Cross gala dinner at Boma Hotel on Monday night, the DP said he was thinking in his mother tongue, where tigers and leopards are one of the same kind. So in Kenya, the Kikuyu nation where I come from, the leopard and the tiger are one and the same. <laughs> So when I was talking about the tiger, I saw some critics here asking you as a tiger. <laughs> I am telling them the tiger and the leopard from the Kikuyu nation where I come from, because I'm not an European, they are one and the same. <laughs> so you are invited to see our leopard stroke tiger in our national park. While speaking in Bogota last week, Gashago called upon the business community in Colombia to invest in Kenya and enjoy the rare species of elephant, rhinos, buffaloes, and tigers. Kenya is a very warm country. We are very welcoming people. We are very hospitable. And we invite Colombian business people to come and invest in Kenya. Again, as you come to invest in Kenya, we have many facilities for tourism. We have Rare species of our wildlife: the elephant, the rhino, the buffalo, the tiger. <laughs> Moments after jetting back to the country, the DP said he had been following up on the happenings back home. Touching on the recent spike in oil prices, he called upon leaders to watch how they address Kenyans, reminding them that the people employed them to serve them. So, my dear, I see a couple. I go Furthermore, Deputy President Chigadi Gashagwa will convene the National Emergency Response Committee to deliberate on the country's preparedness for the expected El Nino rains. Gashago said on Monday evening, the committee will establish strategies to mitigate possible devastations that may be caused by the anticipated heavy rains. In our march against climate change, we cannot afford to lose lives, we cannot afford to lose livelihoods. In improved technology, we have an opportunity to work together in better early warning systems of consolidated and effective action. For instance, in our country and across Africa and the world, predictions indicate that we may experience El Nino rains between September and January 2024. We invite you to work with us as we set up and implement measures to prevent possible tragedies. In that regard, next week I'll be convening the National Emergency Response Committee that I chair with all government agencies, development partners, the Red Cross, international organizations, and all other stakeholders to discuss our preparedness for the expected El Nino rains. In the long term, we are working on public-private partnership in building water harvesting structures, including dams across the country. This will help us take advantage of such large amounts of water for food production. On this note, as I conclude, I wish to thank the Red Cross and the Red Crescent Society for the millions of lives they have touched over the years. We look forward to working closely in building sustainable societies beyond disasters. And what you do is a calling for humanity. Nobody can pay you. Nobody 
can compensate you. DP Gashago was representing President William Ruto, where the participants were also celebrating over 150 years of experience with the Red Cross and Red Crescent Society. On behalf of President William Ruto, which happens during the 10th Pan-African Conference of the International Federation of the Red Cross and the Red Crescent Society on renewing investment in Africa. Nonetheless, the DP urged the fighting generals in Sudan and the rebel forces in Democratic Republic of Congo to lay down their arms and give dialogue a chance. My boss, President William Ruto, is very keen on peace in southern Sudan, in Sudan, Ethiopia, DRC, across the whole of Africa. Because any insecurity, any conflict in our neighboring countries becomes a problem to our republic. That is why we have refugee camps in Dadaab, in Kakuma, everywhere. And it becomes a burden to this country in terms of resources and even destabilizes our own security. The armed conflict in Sudan has greatly affected our exports of tea to Sudan and affected many Kenyans who are working in Sudan who have come back home. I call upon our brothers in Sudan, the generals, to lay down arms, enter into peaceful negotiations, and find a peaceful solution to whatever problems they have in Sudan. We do the same to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where we have had to send our soldiers to try to help the people of DRC to maintain peace. We call again all the armed combatants to give peace and dialogue a chance for the sake of their citizens and for the sake of peace, not just in their country, but in the region. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, I'm Mesh Msembi.